Now, as those of you out there know who are interested in astronomy, we have Mars fairly prominent in the evening sky at the moment. Coming up uh, in the east, just as the sun sets in the west, and can't miss it, very bright red object, the red planet. Now, I've been taking a few pictures because it's close to opposition. Opposition will be actually on the 29th of July, so in about a week's time. It's the 21st today. Last night I took a few pictures using my ASI 120MC colour camera, a ZWO camera, specially adapted to fit into the telescope, eyepiece 1 and 8 inches. And it basically takes um, about 30 to 50 frames per second, depending on your exposure. And usually I run a video uh, of about four sort of 30 to 90 seconds usually this is what it looks like uh, when you play it back through Registack 6 but you record it through fire capture that's the program that you image with so you get this wobbly bubbling image but um, actually conditions were not too bad last night I was out there about 11 o'clock. If I was right into it, well, I'd be up there at 2 o'clock in, in the morning because that's the best time uh, when Mars is the highest. And, of course, you're looking through less atmosphere when it's at its highest in the north there. Now, we are imaging Mars here from Victoria in Australia using a 6-inch F-15 refractor and a driven equatorial mount. So um, that's what it looks like. Pretty much what it looks like through the eyepiece. As you know, at the moment, Mars has been undergoing a massive planet-wide dust storm, which started in the middle of started in the middle of uh, June, about a month ago, and it, it's ongoing. Of course, this is the worst dust storm since the 70s, and that's why we can't really see a lot of detail. M Mars is a very difficult object to look at through a telescope most of the time. It's just at the moment when it gets near opposition, when the Sun, Earth and Mars are in the line, that's uh, like now, that's when you get to see it the best. Now we'll do some processing. Now as you, you regular viewers know, I'm a beginner with astrophotography and Registrack 6 and fire capture and all this stuff I just started this year. But anyway, I've been doing my best to try and get a good image of Mars and the ice caps are prominent as you see here um, and we've got some features even though we've got this massive dust storm you can still see some features and you Mars phobes out there will be able to tell me what they are <laughs> now here is sort of the final probably what I think is perhaps the best picture both ice caps very prominent large dust storm but still some high features uh, probably mountainous regions or higher areas are, are visible above the dust storm thanks for watching <laughs>